how did you master the New York accent? I know you've been asked this before, but I feel like with Wolf of Wall Street last year, we got to see another Australian actress master the Queen's mm -hmm. accent. You've sort of done a similar thing. How did you, how did you get it? I guess I would say first and foremost that uh, mastering is not uh, the word that I would use. <laughs> um, I think that, that Lorna has an incredibly unique sound, um, which is great because she's an incredibly unique character and I, I think that that works together and I'm glad that that works together. But uh, in terms of a pure sound, I mean you say New York, I would kind of say it's more like this sort of East Coast cocktail thing because there's definitely some vowels in there that are like Boston as and things like that. So there's there's some there's definitely some weaving going on. And and for me, I really enjoy this idea that, that Lorna is kind of rootless in a way that she's sort of trickled down that that coast and really not found a place where she really belongs. Um, so yeah, I, I, I kind of enjoy that that mashup of sounds mm -hmm. yeah and it starts to you know it starts to feel like home like it's something that I can drop you can into slip into now. pretty yeah easily. yeah and sometimes I do it accidentally if I'm like talking about <laughs> her I'll suddenly be like yeah and you know she that's how she feels so that's fine yeah. <laughs> kind of losing the Australian accent a little bit while you were talking about the backstory I know I saw that too okay. yeah I am so <laughs> transparent Piper's been able to take a little bit more of a back seat this season mm -hmm. I mean she's still the central character sure. but she's definitely taken a bit more of a back seat you guys have been able to explore different dynamics behind the prison walls that we weren't able to see in the first one specifically with your character and a bit of a, uh, a I would say almost a race war going yes. on, going on yes. there right talk to there's me about a tribal that. thing going on yes. it's about survival I think that you know prison is really about survival and what we see in the second season is we're definitely getting deeper into all the characters and all the different groups and um, what we do see that we didn't see in the first season is how each group each individual really does have a home base to go to and it's really at the end of the day it's not even so much about race it's just about survival Staying with what you know. Yeah. You know. If you don't have that home base to go to, you're kind of a, a lost ship at sea. Yeah. And there's no protection with it without that. Actually, I was watching. It's about protection. I, I was watching um, Locked Up, that like reality, mm -hmm. <laughs> and one of the guards was was talking directly to that issue. That, that people talk about. Well, you you know, there's a gang culture, and you ha and you know, there's this kind of illusion that you can't that, that you could maybe not be part of that gang culture. Mm -hmm. And she she was saying as a guard, really you have to choose a place to belong yeah, yeah. otherwise you are not safe and I think the show represents that idea that that you need to make a choice you need to play well you need to play strong um, otherwise yeah well, it's also as you said it's, it's it's tribal it's territorial because you have so little in prison as it is that what you do have you need to protect as much as possible whether it's kitchen rights right. or, or garden rights these are to people on the outside such a minor thing but people on the inside they're they weigh on them. It's all, it's all they have. Yeah. yeah. It's really all they have. So it's protected. It definitely yeah. is. Last week, uh, Uzo Aduba, who plays Suzanne Crazy Eyes Warren, wrote a plea to Emmy voters in a guest column on The Hollywood Reporter as to the lack of diversity in television and why the cast of Orange is the New Black is worthy of an Emmy. She went on to say, Today, with the groundbreaking impact of Orange is the New Black, it's time for Emmy not only to redefine what a winning comedy is, but also what Emmy-worthy looks like. What did you guys think when you when you heard about this the, this op-ed that she put out? I said, go ahead, yeah. so thank you for that. Yeah. Yes, and, why not? And it was great to have our attention drawn to the facts. Yes. I mean, I, I read it when it came out, so forgive me if my facts are not correct, but she talked about the Cosby Show being the last all-black cast to win an Emmy mm -hmm. for, for Best Comedy, I believe. Mm -hmm. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But that is shocking. It is. That, that, that really struck me, because that's a long time yeah. ago, people. Mm -hmm. Like, we need to kind of move a little. We there, need there to get also, with the times. Yeah. I think we need to get with the times. Absolutely. There was controversy a few years ago with The Wire that it didn't win a television diversity award. Which for some heck? reason, that show did not win in five years. And what an amazing and, show it was. Yeah. And I mean, it's always going to be, in my mind, one of the greatest shows that ever existed so yeah it would be wonderful and not only just because of the diversity you know as far as race but women it's powerful yes. women finally um, and it's telling to Hollywood listen we, we have power women can bring in an audience you know we, we, we can get the numbers